that was Keith Green with There is a Redeemer here on AM 930 The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Our scripture for today is Job chapter 23, verse number 10. Listen to what Job says. But he knows the way that I should take, and when he has tested me, I will come forth as gold. Now, if you know a little bit of Job's story, you know that uh, he was going along in life, just kind of enjoying life. The blessing of the Lord was upon him. And then one day, Satan comes up to the Lord and says, Hey, look at all that old Job. You know, you have a hedge of protection around him. If you take that hedge of protection off of him, you know what he's going to do? He's going to curse you. And God says, That's not going to happen. Well, the Lord allowed uh, Satan to tempt and test Job. And you know, through all of that, Job did not curse God. He did not blame God, and he became a, a great inspiration. Um, even though when you are righteous, sometimes you're tested, sometimes you even suffer reverses. But listen to what Job, said. Job says. He says, but he knows the way I will take. See, Job knew that God's was his direction, that his path was in God's hand. He was acknowledging the sovereignty of God in every situation. He says, he knows the path I'm going to take even before I take it. But when he tested me, he said, God tested me. God does do that because God allows us to go through these times of testing because he knows that there's a refining process. Listen to what Job says. But I will come forth as gold. Here is Job. He understands the refining process. He knows that trials and tribulations and situations that are negative do come into our lives. But he says they have a refining process. They're going to burn away all the dross on the unpleasant things, the impurities of our lives. And when we come out the other side, we're going to be pure, we're going to be holy, we're going to be righteous, we're going to be wiser, we're going to be more creative, we're going to be more knowledgeable in all these different things. And also as well, there's going to be some positive effects. For example, you are going to be able to uh, talk to others who are going through that same situation. You can say to them, listen, I went through that situation. This is what God taught me. And this is how he can help you as well. And in many times, it gives us hope when we are able to reflect that and bring that to someone's situation as well. Also as well, we become more creative. We understand that there are more ways and more solutions than just the ordinary ones. And sometimes God shows us incredible things when we're going through that time of testing. As well, we become absolutely much wiser because you realize that there was a reason for it and you know that your attitude and your gratitude will often uh, uh, reflect what you're going through at the time. You will also become a more disciplined individual. You'll understand that as you're going through the testing, as you put your trust in God, and as you follow His path, you'll discover that you'll become a much better disciple of Jesus Christ. Here is Job just saying, He knows the way I'm going to go. He knows the way I'm going to take. But as I put my trust in Him today, what's going to happen is even in my time of testing, my time of temptation, all that's going to happen is I'm going to be a greater person, a more wiser person. God's going to use me in ways that I never dreamed possible, but greater than anything else, I am going to be like gold. <laughs> God's going to make you gold today, folks. So whatever you're going through, put your trust in God and be like Job and say, even though he slays me, I will trust him. Will you trust God today? I trust that you will. AM 930 The Light is Edmonton's Positive Talk. It was a decision you made that resulted in feeling